Hello, you lot. How you doing? Is out. Welcome to NFTV, where we are going to be bringing you the latest updates with all of the transfer rumours. Newcastle fans TV. Yes, hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. So transfer rumours are dominating the world of YouTube. Everybody's doing it. So the algorithm helps that. So that's the reason why we are jumping on that. Uh, Newcastle obviously play tomorrow, which has been streamed on YouTube. So make sure, you obviously, uh, if you've got the time to watch that, we'll be doing a match reaction uh, as well as possibly a watch along. But... I wanted to talk to you about the uh, the transfer rumours. One of them that won't go away, and apparently it's dead in the water now, is Asensio, Marcos Asensio. And now, if we were to get this lad from Real Madrid, oh my God, what a talent. Some people who say is that you don't want him. Had a minute. He didn't want a player who can score worldies, assist, can go past a player, has a lethal shot in him, could score goals, can create... Yeah, you would. And yes, and I, you won probably in the number 10 and Newcastle don't necessarily play uh, with a number 10. But we can live with that. You know, you can play out on the left. You can, you can do a job on the right. But what a sign in this would be if Newcastle can get him. But, you know, if if it, I've seen daft figures where it's 35 million. Like, had a minute, 35 million? Of course, he would sign for that. Um, but I think it'll be a lot higher than that. Don't get me wrong, because he's a talented talented boy and he doesn't always star for Real Madrid but if he was to come to Newcastle he'll be one of the stars without a shadow of a doubt but uh, apparently that one's dead in the water and apparently another one that's dead in the water is that Isaac who Sam's a big fan of on the channel Newcastle aren't going to go there because of the transfer fees this is according to Craig Hope I'm going to quote Craig Hope uh, a bit for the next couple of um, transfer rumours here yeah. so yes Newcastle need a strike and yes we have been linked to strike as all week in particular, we've seen it early on the week on the channel where we're, we're talking about Emmanuel Dennis. Um, he would be a great buy, I think, as a backup to Callum Wilson. But Isaac is the big one. He's a, he's going to be a star. You know, Sweden, obviously, have had Ibrahimovic for years. He's the new kid on the block. That's going to be uh, the face of Swedish football for the next 10 to 15 years. But look, he's a talented boy. I think he's going to develop. He's in a tough league, a technical league, La Liga. His, his goal-scoring record for Sociedad isn't the greatest. However... If you had him and Callum Wilson up top, I think he is going to be buying. I think you're buying for now, and I think you're also buying for potential as well. He's got flashes of brilliance about him. We've seen him in the Euros as well. He's got talent. He has got talent. He'll link up. He can go past the player as well. So, And I think he'll suit the Premier League, the fast pace. I think that'll suit his game much better than a technical league like La Liga. That's my personal view, and let me know if you agree. But Craig Hope says that Newcastle aren't going to entertain. And Musa Diaby one, who I would love to get. I'd love to get crying out for a winger and a striker. Diaby just is it's just X-factor. He's just the sex bomb, isn't he? He scores. He creates. He's diminutive. He's direct. Plays on the right, you can play on the left, heavily left footed, but it gives him, uh, Eddie Howe, a lot more food for thought because he can swap him and Maxi. French international, if he, um, if he has a great World Cup, he's going to be, his figure is going to jump for the roof later on this year if he has a fantastic World Cup. So get the lad signed, man. It's, 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 this one for me, it's a risk worth taking because, in, in terms of the, uh, the pace, the Bundesliga is probably the nearest to the Premier League, not in terms of technical ability, in terms of the pace. And he scores goals for fun, he creates. And, you know, the likes of Bruce Dortmund, in particular Bayern Munich, like to pinch off the small, smaller clubs. I'm not saying Bayern Munich because they're smaller, but compared to Bayern Munich, they are. You can see him quite easily flourishing the Bayern Munich, quite easily. So, get him signed. What a signing it would be. Get people excited, you know, you've got to say maximum that we do it. Imagine if you've got Tiabi on the other side. Oh, it would be absolutely class. Absolutely class if we could. Wonderful, wouldn't it? It would be what, what, what a signing it would be. But apparently that one is not happening at the minute. But, and this lad, the other name, he's been mentioned, I've seen it creep up a couple of times now, and would lead sell Jack Harrison. Now, when you think of Jack Harrison, uh, obviously scoring against Newcastle uh, when we got beat 5-2. Uh, a couple of times, if you remember, that, away, that horrible away day in Ellen Road. Um is he better than what we've got off the bench? I always look at that first, and I think he is. He's an upgrade on Almiron. He's an upgrade on Murphy for me. So, yes, it would be. Leeds have obviously lost Rafina already. They've lost Calvin Phillips. Are they going to lose another player? Jack Harrison? Don't know. Don't know. 
Would he move? I think he would move because of the ambition that Newcastle are showing. I think it's a player that is probably for where Newcastle are right now is a more realistic signing. It's just trying to convince the Leeds board that, okay, you've lost Phillips, you've lost Rafina, but we're going to take Harrison off you next. Look, everyone's got a price. We know that everyone's got a price. I think you might have to pay a little bit daft to get Harrison, but, you know, he will score goals for you, create as well. And I think he offers more than what those two lads have mentioned in Newcastle squad, definitely. And I think he would probably become a regular at Newcastle. So I could see that one, but my heart set on Diaby out of all the players that I've mentioned so far. Essentio it would be a fantastic buy, but I think Diaby was the one I would go and get because we can, you know, buy Leverkusen in Newcastle, you know, coming across to the Premier League, being a star in this league. And if he uses us as a stepping stone for a Manchester City in the future or a Liverpool, fair enough. We've got to go and we've got to go and show that we're ambitious. We haven't yet made a statement signing yet. We've had good buys like Bruno Gomez was a fantastic gem. We haven't gone out and say, "Whoa, look at Newcastle I've just signed." Not yet, not yet. I don't feel, but I think that will come, and I think Diaby would be the first one if we were to get him. But I want to know what you think of those four players that I've mentioned today in the comments down there below. Who would you like to say, or if there's any fresh news, because Transfer Room has always news being updated with links. Is there anyone else? Smash that like for us. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.